Hi everyone, this is Jana, and today I wanted to share a card using some of the newest addition to the Neat and Tangled product line, which is wafer thin dies. So here I have a stamp and a matching die, which are from the uh, on the corner set from Neat and Tangled. I also have some black memento ink some Copic markers for my coloring, and also a few other stamp sets from Neat and Tangled. So here I have the On the Corner stamp set along with the On the Corner editions. I also have the Santa tags and just Thinking of You stamp set. And I'll be using a few stamps from all of these sets to create my card today. So here I have uh, that street sign uh, stamp from Neat and Tangled and I'm inking it up using some black ink from Memento. Now I chose this particular ink because I wanted to color my image using some Copic markers. Now I'm also using a new die from Neat and Tangled. It's a matching die and I'm using some washi tape to make sure I secure the die in place and that it stays in place while I do my die cutting. To die cut my image, I'm going to use an Artisan Explorer die cutting machine from Spellbinders. But you can use any other die cutting machine for this. The wafer thin dies from Neat and Tangled are going to work in any die cutting machine. They're just like any other wafer thin dies. Now to continue my card, I'm going to be using a strip of paper from this special delivery paper pad, paper pad from GCD Studios. I really liked this sort of like a postal uh, love theme and I thought that this particular uh, pattern would go well with my design. Now because the red on this paper wasn't um, intense enough, I'm, going, uh, I'm using my red Copic marker and I'm adding just a little bit of more red color to that paper just to make sure that it matches my colored uh, street sign. I didn't show you how I colored my stamped and die cut image because I'm not really a pro when it comes to Copic markers. I know a few basic rules and I stick to them. So that's why I didn't want to show you anything. You know, there are lots of different tutorials online on how to use Copic markers. So if you're looking under information about that, you can just, you know, search for those on YouTube. So I used, basically I used a few grays and then another, a red Copic marker and uh, some co a colorless blender as well just to blend my colors. Now to continue my card I used some liquid glue and I adhered my street sign directly onto my card base. This is just some white regular cardstock. I then used a little heart stamp from the Just Thinking of You stamp set from Neat and Tangled and I stamped that little heart using some red dye ink from Clear Snap. I also stamped a few more hearts on a piece of cardstock and I die cut them using, uh, oh excuse me, I, I cut them out using my scissors. Now I also looked through some other papers that I had in my stash and I found this lovely paper from uh, El Studio with uh, a bunch of different envelopes. I really liked those envelopes and I thought that would go well with this, um, with the theme of my card. So I used my scissors and I cut a few out and I layered them in the uh, bottom portion of my cards. So I sort of like created a, a pile of envelopes down at that postal, at that street uh, sign there. I also added a little ampersand to the bottom of my card, just above that uh, tiny envelope there. And I, I chose that particular sign, uh, particular wooden element, just because I wanted to tie the sentiment together. So here I have a stamped loved and adored, and I have a little grateful together with that wooden and at the bottom of my card. Now to adhere all of the elements that I have here, I'm using adhesive from Scrapbook Adhesives. I'm using the tape runner to adhere my envelopes and I'm also using some foam dots just to adhere a few of the hearts here and there. And I'm also adding that little wooden element from Studio Calica to the top. Now to finish my card, I'm going to add uh, a, f a couple more stamped elements. So I have these little sort of like stars from the Santa's, uh, from the Santa's Tags stamp set and I'm using some gray ink from uh, um, Tsukinako to do my stamping. I thought about using a uh, black colored ink for this but then I thought that it would look maybe too dark you know so I, I thought that I would better look for a gray colored ink that would match the color on the, of the envelopes that I have at the bottom there. Finally it's time to adhere these like little flaps of the street sign. I, I was completely done with my card and I knew I wasn't going to add anything else there so I used some foam adhesive and notice that I'm layering it sort of like um, 
creating a double layer for, for one flap and then a single layer of foam adhesive for another flap. I wanted, this way I just wanted to make it, you know, a bit more dimensional and a bit more funny, or, well, not funny, but, you know, a bit more interesting, I guess. <laughs> Anyhow, I then added a couple of wide sequins from Neat and Tangle just here and there, just to create a, a little bit more interest to my card. And that pretty much finished my project for today. I really hope that you enjoyed this idea and please do give the new Neat and Tangle dies a try. You're going to love them, especially for this lovely uh, street sign die. And uh, I thank you for watching. Um, I'll catch you next time. Bye.